On this week's show, Daniel McKenna is no longer with Peloton. And more layoffs, as well as a possible sale of Precore, and a new partnership announced with Hilton Hotels, and much, much more. Welcome to Pelo Buddy TV, a show for the Peloton community by the Peloton community. Here are your hosts, Amanda Siegel and John Pruitt. Welcome to episode 102 of Pelo Buddy TV, a show for the Peloton community by the Peloton community. I'm Amanda Siegel and I'm joined by my co host, John Pruitt. Hey, John. Hey, now, Amanda. How you doing? I am good. I am good. How are you? I'm good. I am I am in the middle right now of my weekend of freedom because as we speak, uh, Jackie and Jackson are away in Florida since Friday. So mm-hmm. I've been really I've been on my own little vacation here uh, holding down the fort. Mm-hmm. So it's been it's been very nice, I must say. You and the, do- <laughs> Just me and the you dogs. You and the dogs. Yeah. You and the dogs. Oh, nice. Where are they in Florida? They went to Orlando because my mother-in-law, um, she was down there for some sort of conference that she was being recognized. So she, you nice. know, invited Jackie to, to bring Jack because Jackson didn't have school on Friday. It was a teacher conference, you know, holiday. So Jackie yeah. thought it would be fun. So she surprised Jackson um, on Friday with, you know, the trip down. So he had no idea. She already had a bag packed for him. And um, they're going to they're going to be there till Tuesday and they're going to I know she's going to take them to Disney, to Animal Kingdom one day and then maybe to Universal um, theme park another day or that day. So, yeah, I've been. Oh, that uh, is fantastic. I've had a nice, nice time. You might um, you might say it's low rent, but I went to I dined at Red Lobster on Friday night because it's it's shrimp fest right now. It's (laughs) unlimited shrimp. And uh, it was Lovely. I went to the Killers concert on Saturday night in Detroit. Uh, so I've really been, I'm making, I've been making a weekend of it. I've been getting around. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Well, yeah. I, she's she's Central Central Florida and I'm South Florida. So um, back down in Miami for the weekend. It's Parents Weekend at the University of Miami. So uh, it is a quick in and out. I mean, literally, you know, flew down Friday and fly out Monday morning. Um, so just a quick weekend, but I'm um, going to get to meet all Nicole's friends, parents, and um, should be a fun weekend. Great. So I'm still in the in the throes of our construction up in Maryland, but I have put my construction hat on and I'm project manager Amanda. So it's been very fun. <laughs> um, and the weather turned nice. I mean, thank goodness. It, it really, it would, you know, we got the remnants of Ian over the beginning of the week. So it poured yeah. with rain for the first few days. But thank goodness that all kind of moved out. And um, yeah, from, from Thursday, it was beautiful. So, um, so yeah, so very much um you know a busy a busy week in the peloton world quite, let's uh, um yeah quite a roller coaster let, week uh so we have a lot to go to, to say the to, least yeah to go through yeah, to that's say the least we certainly do have a lot to go through but folks before we get started with the news we do always like to share with you and remind you um, of how you can keep up to date with all of our content across all of our platforms every episode is released on our youtube channel just hit the subscribe button at the bottom right hand side of the video and hit the notify button to make sure that you never miss an episode Yes, and you can also listen to us. We're on all traditional podcast platforms. If you search Pillow Buddy TV, be sure to hit subscribe, hit notifications so you don't miss an episode, and please leave us a review. We love um, we love getting those five star reviews up in that up in that average uh, rating <laughs> that uh, the Pillow Buddy podcast receives. And we love your feedback, and we do definitely take that into account on ways to improve the show. So we always love to hear from you. And specifically recently, we've really appreciated the um, lovely remarks that everyone has made, um, you know, just about what Chris is putting out there and how we put out our our information. And it's definitely been very much appreciated. So glad you guys are enjoying it. And as John said, definitely make sure that you um, leave a review. Um, But folks, don't forget, of course, we are on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter um, as well. Just hit um, TikTok too. uh, Just hit. 
Ah, TikTok. You see, I forgot about TikTok. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't seen a TikTok, John. I'm not sure if it's re- really on TikTok. <laughs> we'll have to get Chris Lewis on, on, on the right page on with it. that yeah. one. Exactly. Um, of course, just search for Pillow Buddy and like, follow us on those platforms um, for all of the latest news. And now, folks, let's get on with the show. All right. First, let's do a rundown of the latest Pillow news. Well, John, I guess the top story is a rather sad and disappointing one for many. Um, The very popular, charismatic, and fun strength and tread instructor, Daniel McKenna, um, better known to his fans as the Irish Yank, has left Peloton um, and is no longer an instructor with the company. Um, Daniel had joined the Peloton platform back in August of 2021. His last live class was September 11th. It was an in-studio live class. And he had also pre-recorded an outdoor run that had dropped on demand on September the 16th. So on the 3rd, they had posted something on, um, on, on social media on the official Peloton Facebook page. Um, as I said, they they had basically just mentioned that he would no longer be an instructor with Peloton. They went on to wish him well um, in the next in his next chapter. Um, from what we can tell, um, there will be no final send off class, um, so there would be no goodbye to Daniel. Um, and there had been, you know, there had been uh, quite some speculation on Daniel's whereabouts prior to the announcement. Um, for a few weeks, he had been noticeably quiet on social media and his scheduled live classes had been substituted by um, by other instructors at the last minute. Yeah. Um, and, you know, we appreciate that he has a rather large following a very uh, vocal, large following. And here at Pillow Buddy, we just wanted to send out our best to those members that are, you know, gutted um, by his departure. Um, And we also want to wish Daniel all the best moving forward and just hope that he finds, uh, you know, a path that that will be good for him. So um, very disappointing news. Very, very disappointing, sad news. It's it's sad because it almost feels like we're mourning the the loss of someone just because of the way it all went down. It, it feels like one of the shadiest exits from the company just because both sides were pretty quiet. Uh, I mean, we haven't heard anything yeah. from we haven't heard anything from Daniel. He has he's been quiet on Instagram since I think September tenth or eleventh, and yeah. Peloton. You know, aside from that that very sort of boilerplate announcement that they made. There's been nothing else um, from any other instructors or anything. So, yeah, yeah it just it, it's such a bar. And I was becoming such a huge fan of him. And um, I know people want answers, and we just yeah, we don't have anything aside yeah. from yeah. what's been out there. Yeah. Um, yeah and we, it's crazy, yeah, you know. He's are... he's become so popular, and it, it was you know he just launched in such back a short August. period of time and i mean given yeah. when he was out for his injury i mean he was basically teaching for less than a year when you when you subtract that yeah. time that he was um you know recuperating from that injury so yeah, it's a it's yeah. a huge. I mean, loss. I go out, I go out. You know, so so much so much love goes out to his admin for his, um, you know, Irish, Irish Yanks. Yanks page. They yeah. oh, they they just knocked it out of the park. They did such an amazing job, um, in um, you know, with his fan page. I mean, he I, I took a look. He was at eighty five thousand followers on the fan page. I mean, that's yeah. insane. You know, insane. And um, so yeah, uh, my heart breaks. Um, you know, for those I. I you look, everyone knows I'm, I'm, I am I keep it no secret that I, I don't do strength nearly enough that I should have. So, you know, I, I didn't tend to run with him on the tread and I didn't, uh, I did a couple strength classes with him, very few. Um, so I, you know, personally, it, it hasn't affected me like it has others, but I feel for the community and the community have been very vocal and um, it sucks. It just, it just sucks. And we get it. We totally get it. Well, I, um, I was yeah, just starting so to get, one, I was just starting to get into him and, um, you know, I was hoping Aww. my next visit to the studio, I, I'd be able to do a class with him in person. So yeah, it's 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 such a bummer. Never mind that. You could have got you could have gotten some awesome reels. Can I tell you from his from his stuff? There's no question. Oh well, there's your, still your reels. What? 
<laughs> at least we still have all his content on demand, which Peloton Thank made goodness. clear they weren't purging um, like they did with the departure of uh, Oliver Lee, who was a tread strength Correct. coach who, you know, his his exit, they basically wiped him off the platform as soon as he was gone from the company. So at least we can all still... For, for those who, who haven't worked out with him or haven't worked out with him much like me, like I was just starting to get into him, there's still plenty of in his catalog to get through in this past year. So that's amazing. I guess we can yeah, still so take comfort in I'll that. Do. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. All right. Well, we're moving on to a little bit more bad news, unfortunately. Yeah, there was a lot we said this past week. Um, we got some, um, as I said, additional bad news just this past Thursday. Um, it seems that CEO Barry McCarthy made an announcement that there will be an additional five hundred job cuts in a new round of layoffs and um, he is also exploring the potential of a sale of Precor. So, you know, McCarthy has given Peloton, which it just makes me pause, six months to turn things around before they are forced to pursue an acquisition. Um, mm. The news was first reported by the Wall Street Journal um, on Thursday and included an interview from Barry McCarthy. He said that the latest cuts mark Peloton's final significant move to reduce its operating footprint and that executives would now focus on increasing revenue. He said the cuts were company-wide um, but would be heaviest in its marketing operation, which he said is just too big for for a company of Peloton size. Um, he went on to say, there comes a point in time when we've either been successful or we have not. Um, this was in the interview that he had given. He says, if we don't grow, um, and he said before pausing, we need to grow to get the business to a sustainable level. These, um, this new round of layoffs will leave Peloton folks with approximately 3,800 employees, less than half the number of employees at their peak um, back in 2021. They are also looking at exploring the sale of Precor, as I mentioned. Um, that's the commercial fitness equipment company that they had acquired back in April of 2021. And that would be, again, another big move on their part. Um, I believe they bought it for $420 um, million. Dollars. I don't want to say billion, million dollars. Um, mm. And, you know, they, as we all know, they went ahead and they've kind of outsourced their, um, you know, all of their manufacturing. They're desperately trying to figure out. I mean, they've had six, they have had six, below forecasted um, quarters. So they're they're struggling. Um, I mean, I know that my DMs were just, fly, you know, going berserk when the news came out. It was like, what do we think? What's going to happen? Do we think, you know, I don't know. I, I, I said to him, I'm speculating. Um, I'm just sad. I'm just sad. I'm sad for those folks that are, you know, going to get let go again. I'm sad for the company. You know, we're such, look, there's, you and I, I mean, as so many others are such diehards that to read this kind of news just is excruciating. <laughs> yeah. And it, and it sadly, it doesn't come as a surprise to me. Um, I just hope, you know, yeah. he's, he's trying to write the ship. But I mean, to me, it feels like an acquisition is somewhere in that near future. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, Definitely. kind of based on how things have been for the last year, year and a half. Um since yeah. that pandemic surge, uh, you know, where things exploded. Um, I almost wish, I mean, I almost wish that we could kind of turn the clock back and, and see what would have happened if things, you know, had been different. Um, yeah, I mean, look, if, if that there pandemic been no, has If there had been raucous. no pan pandemic at all. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I mean, the pandemic just caused such a raucous in everybody's lives and this is a huge part of our lives and um there's no question that it's you know impacted so significantly um so yeah so that was the big news um certainly from this past week well well time will tell i mean um acquisition wise i know we've talked about nike possibly amazon amazon 
are yeah. some of the big, uh, I don't know about Apple, if they would still be a contender, but yeah, we'll yeah. see. Well, in other news and strength related news, our friend Bob Tremor um, just recently posted on Twitter about a rumored um, strength device that was just revealed in a patent filing that he uncovered from the 6th of October. Um, it's described as a platform-based strength machine which enables users to perform strength or lifting activities or exercise via movable or configurable pull points. So it's almost like a picture a tonal on the wall, but on the floor. And it's got, you know, sort of bungee cords with a bar connected to it um, with handles that control the operation. Um, and then he also added in a curious and possibly related move, a company called Vitruvian, um, which could be a theoretical competitor, according to Bob Tremor, to the rumored uh, Peloton uh, platform-based strength, has removed its corporate LinkedIn page. Um, they're a connected strength startup company out of Australia, and they recently raised $15 million. Um, they have a carbon fiber platform that uses smart resistance to generate up to 440 pounds of resistance. So it's definitely, from Bob Tremor's point of view, it's definitely a possible merger and acquisition target. Um, and like I said, it's very similar to Tonal, but it's not on, it's not on your wall, it's on the floor. So um, possibly some new strength uh, hardware. I don't. I don't know. They seems like they got a lot going. On. <laughs> let's let's write the company and write the ship. Um, Before we start bringing more things out, for sure. Yeah, but right. at least you know, at least we know that the the R and D department there is still hard at work. Um, you know, innovating and and working on new potential products. Um, so I guess that's a good sign. Um, and another great news, this makes me very happy, uh, Peloton announced a new partnership with Hilton Hotels. Um, this past week, they announced their partnership with Hilton. All 5,400 Hilton-branded hotels in the United States will feature at least one Peloton bike in their fitness center by the end of this year. Um, in addition, Hilton Honors members will also receive some, some special offers through Peloton, uh, such as an extended 90-day free trial of the Peloton app and some preferred pricing on hardware. And um, Peloton has announced, uh, has launched a new landing page and support uh, page for this part partnership. The discount on the Peloton equipment for Hilton members is $100 off the Bike and Bike Plus, $100 off the Tread, and $25 off of the Guide. And they are available um, right now from October 3rd through January 1st of 2023. And one interesting um, thing to note that Chris uh, Lewis pointed out in this article right up on PeloBuddy.com is the offer includes discount codes listed on Peloton's site. And it's currently unclear whether or how Peloton will verify that those who use the codes are actually Hilton Honors members. So. If you're not a Hilton Honors member, you still might be able to, um, you know, get that discount honored and use the use the codes that are on the site. Uh, but yeah. that's just that's I mean, just that nice. Now, you know, I know we have uh, there's Peloton bikes at most Westins Westin hotels, but now it's just it's nice having that additional option. You know, when we go out of town for like Jackson's hockey tournament, now I can you know search for a Hilton and um, right not have to worry about you know that doing my workout on a on a crappy spin bike in a random hotel fitness room. Exactly. I mean, I'm a big, we're big Marriott people. So we've always uh, stayed at Marriott. You know, that's just the brand that we kind of tend to go to. Now there are mm -hmm. a lot, there are tons of Marriott's with them in, but I would be, I would love to see them coming up next. I'd be surprised for them not to, um, with the news about Hilton, but I guess yeah. we'll wait and see. I guess we'll wait and see. All right. So when the row was first launched, um, there was quite a lot of chatter about the fact that there would be no financing um, for folks that were looking to purchase it. But we have since now heard that there have been two bits of information that indicate that Peloton may actually be adding a financing option for the row um, following the conclusion of the presale. So first, a member um, from the community had shared a chat with the support team in which the representative had stated that they are looking into financing. So this was shared by Pelobuddy um, 
uh, friend, um, Tough, Tough and Friends was the um, user's name. Um, in addition, those of us that have purchased the ROA via pre-sale actually received a survey which um, asked if we would if we would have used financing if it had been an option. Which so I selected, kind of yes. Way, yeah. Which I did too, a hundred percent. I mean, especially if it's fi- you know, if it's interest free, fi- you know, financing, no question. So, I think they must have realized pretty quickly that that was probably not a smart move on their on their part, um, because I'm sure tons of people shied away from purchasing it, knowing that they would have had to fork out the three thousand one hundred ninety five US dollars, um, which was a ton of cash, uh, you know. So if there will be financing, I'd be curious to see what the sales will go, you know, will go to. And yeah. um, my my assumption is that will kind of be maybe like a holiday special thing that they'll end up doing. Um, so well, I guess it doesn't apply for us that have already put that pre-order in, correct? You wouldn't be able to go back and get financing. See, that's the thing. So when, I don't know if your salesperson at your showroom told you this, but um, my guy Steve at the Troy showroom in Somerset, Michigan, he told me that my credit card would only just be authorized, and I actually wouldn't be charged the full price of the purchase um, until I delivery or appointment. So, but check your statement because I noticed the charge for the rower on my credit card, and then the charge dropped off. So I think they just authorize it initially to see if you have the you know the available credit or the money, and then it it dropped off. So um, oh, I figured I, I would I figured I would have to start. Thought. I figured I would I would have to pay you know this big credit card bill the next month, but it's it's not on there. My balance says zero on the on the card that I use. Ooh. So um, yeah, All maybe right, so it would I'm gonna be have nice to go back and look because it definitely was on mine. It definitely was. It mine was on mine was too, irritated. and then. And then it just okay. it disappeared after four or five days. So double All check right, so yours. So folks but. that have yeah, folks that have gone ahead and purchased it, let us know also. Definitely let us know if you guys have had the same experience because um that I was frustrated thinking I had to pay for it and I haven't even received it yet, um, which which was quite annoying. So I'll definitely go back and yeah, take a look and, at that as well. And I was sure. expecting that because when I when we bought our Tread Plus, I know I had to wait or no no, when we bought our bike plus when it first came out you know, we mm-hmm. waited, whatever we waited a month, uh, a month before or whatever it went on sale. We already had, st- we already started paying through a firm for it before it was delivered. And I was kind of, I was kind of that's, slightly that's irritated annoying. by that. So I figured it was going to yeah. be the same case with the rower. We were going to start paying for it for months before we received it. But yeah, my, my, my guy at the showroom was correct. So All it would right. be nice though. to sw- It'd be nice if we could switch to financing, um, you for know, sure later on if they do decide to offer that but um anyhow um so moving on camilla ramon bilingual instructor she had her premiere run on wednesday night the fifth it was a 20 minute premiere run and there was also several instructors on hand in the studio which was super fun to see and um, to see pictures um, with Camilla, you know, after the ride and her dancing around in the studio with with several instructors just on their treads. Uh, but Kirsten Ferguson was there. New rowing coach Ashley Pryor was on the run in the studio, as well as Jess Sims and Allie Love. Um, and Camilla just uh, she just celebrated one year with Peloton since she launched last October 2021. So she shared a little video, a behind the scenes snippet of her day that she was, you know, preparing to, um, to teach her first ride in the studio, uh, from a year ago. But, um, she also taught her second run on the morning of Friday the 7th. She did a 30 minute bad bunny run. So, um, hit those up if you haven't had a chance to take those yet. And, um, you know, members now have been speculating that Peloton, um, is going to be training some of their instructors to teach on the tread as three, of the current tread instructors are getting preparing to go on maternity leave. You know, Jess King, Bex Gentry, and Selena will all be, you know, giving birth. I think Jess King, I don't know if she's the first one who's who's due first. Um I think I think Jess King's may I think Jess King may be due first. I think it's Jess and then Selena and then Bex. Selena is mistaken. Yeah, Selena's told me she's going to be teaching through the end of November. So I, I, I think she, oh wow, okay. she'll probably be giving birth this year. I think based on that, but um, 
Um, that's all I've heard. Uh, but we've also, you know, right. previously on Pelo Buddy, we've shared signs that Alex Toussaint um, would teach on the trip, but no new details have emerged about that in the recent weeks. Um, uh, but check out Camilla's two runs that are that are available right now. You can also expect to earn an Artist Series badge, also uh, as well as a Latin. Do we ever confirm? Is it Latinx or Latinx? Latinx. I Latinx. Confirm. All right, you can uh, <laughs> receive a Latinx and a Hispanic Heritage Month badge for taking her Bad Bunny class, her Bad Bunny run, and then. Uh, in the artist series world, we have a new FKA Twigs artist series to kick off Black History Month in the UK. Um, FKA Twigs, she was born Talia DeBrett Barnett, um, professionally known as FKA Twigs. She's an English singer, songwriter, and dancer. She was born and raised in Gloucestershire, United Kingdom, and she became a backup dancer after moving to South London at the age of 17. Um, and her music, I've, I've never heard of her before, but she incorporates R&B, soul, and some EDM. Um, but we had a 30-minute FKA Twigs ride with Hannah Frankson the mo early morning of October 8th, and then also a very early morning 30-minute walk with Jocelyn Thompson Rule the following morning on Sunday the 9th. Um, so if you have not had a chance to do either of those, they are waiting for you in the on-demand library. Yeah. And um, next big bit of news, are we getting Babyface in the studio? Um, it seems that there may very well be an opportunity for some folks to get to meet him in person. Um, a selected few were sent an email by invite only to sign up for live classes in the studio. The email was titled, Babyface invites you to a girl's night out. And it went on to say, and it was a message from Babyface, I want to personally invite you to join me in celebrating my new record, Girls Night Out, featuring some of my favorite women in R&B with special classes on Pepton. I'll be the host for the evening with um, Ali Love's cycling class and Kirsten's tread class. So that is something that we definitely, it's October the 21st, I believe I said, um, mm. when it's going to happen. And um, how exciting would that be if um, he, he did in fact um, come into the studio? So we don't have much more than that. All we know is that it were, you know, specific people that were invited to the, um, to, you know, to the classes. And um, I guess you'll hear it here once we know what actually happened. Well, girls' night out—that explains why I didn't receive the email. So I guess it's, it's <laughs> so why didn't I receive it? Numbers. <laughs> Hang on a second. Why didn't I receive it? You, I mean, gonna, come on. You're going to be in town. You're going to be in town. <laughs> I am not going to be in town. <laughs> oh, no, okay. I have a big wedding that weekend. Okay. But um, but yeah, maybe they knew. They knew I had a wedding, so they figured, don't waste the email. They didn't want to upset me. <laughs> right. Right. Well, we have a new we have a new on the leaderboard episode with Dennis Morton and uh, American country pop singer uh, Jesse James Decker. Um, it's interesting because they're riding Peloton bikes on this. If if you do it, um, you know, on the app or on your bike or your tread, it's listed as a walking class, a ten minute walking class, but they're on bikes. So oh, I was, was it listed as a walking class? I, I, don't, I didn't see I don't know. See maybe that. it's That's... maybe it's a mistake. But I was after I did a run on Thursday with Jeffrey McEachern, I wanted to do a ten minute cool down walk, and I was looking, and it was all of a sudden it was listed under walks, under walking. So and then I put it on, and I was so confused because then they they popped up, and they were both on bike pluses, and they were. Yeah, because I did so, it too. That's weird. I want to go back and look and see how it recorded on mine because I did mine on the bike. Yeah, I don't um, know why they, they put it under the walking modality. on. I know it's under walking on the app and on the tread. On the, all right, so let so, me... Um, kind I'm going to pull it up while, while you keep going and see if I can find it here. Yeah, uh, but that's on there. It's it's 10 minutes. Um, Jess James Jack Decker, she's, uh, like I said, country pop singer, songwriter, former reality television personality and entrepreneur. I had never um, heard of her before, but um, they seem to have you know, good chemistry going back and forth. I, 
in that one? Did, I have to did tell it show you, up as a walk? Um, how did mine come up? It came up. No, mine came up as cycling. No. Oh. So mine came up on cycling. I did do it on the. I did do it on the bike though, but it did come up as cycling. Interesting. Uh, so we're getting from control room that maybe it was because it was available both on the bike and the tread, and therefore, depending on which modality you chose, you got credit one way or the other. Uh, could, okay. could, could could be. Could it be. just it could th be. it th it threw me off when I was looking for walks, it and all of a sudden you? it was it was there, and then I pulled it up, and they were on bikes. So I, I, I yeah, I scratched you, my head for a sec. I, I thought it was kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't take for the record I didn't take it I ended up doing a different cool oh, down you didn't walk end with, up taking it? with, with uh, uh, Jermaine so did, Johnson <laughs> yeah okay so I did end up taking it and I okay. thought it was weird I just okay. I, it was funny because you said the chemistry I thought there was no chemistry I thought she was very um you know and I adore Dennis I mean you guys know I think Dennis is just like a, a god um it was just weird it was just weird. I I didn't I didn't I walked away going that was weird. I mean, Dennis brought out a guitar and started playing a guitar. Oh yeah, she, I like, saw a clip made from up that a song. Oh okay, it, now it was just yeah. Do you remember that's, now? Well, I, I now I'm connecting the dots because I saw a clip of that him playing on the guitar and her like trying to freestyle this this you know verse from Dennis and I yeah. thought like, it was kind of cringy. <laughs> Yeah, I was and, so, um, you said it, but it, so now it, I now I know I that's where you know it's me. From. I'm too nice to I'm too nice to really go that deep, but <laughs> I mean it, it, it is it what was, it is. It is what it is. It was it was interesting. It was interesting. All right, last week there was a lot of buzz. Um, Hannah Frankson, John Husking, Alex Toussaint, and Robin Arzan were all in the um, the city of angels. Um, they were all in L.A. for a very quick visit. Um, I mean, it was like a whoosh. And they were gone. Um, mm. Of course, everybody was speculating as to what they were out there for. Um, and the rumors were running wild. Um, you know, from, from what we uh, from what we have gathered, though, is that they were likely shooting um, holiday commercials. Um, Robin did allude to that in a um, in a ride. She did the very next day. Um, and of course, people were like, Robin just said that they were shooting a commercial. Now, the question is, was it holiday commercials or maybe a Super Bowl commercial that mm. definitely would have um, would have been would, will be fun to see so the four of them were out there I love that they gave you know that they didn't make us wonder you know that they really were out there they were on social media they let us know that they were there you know I love that part of it because all the other times that they've gone they've kind of been so clandestine about everything that they're doing yeah and this time you felt like you were kind of really a part of it which I loved um, and then while John headed back to the UK, we next found that Hannah was in New York and she seemed to be very busy in the studio. Um, so the question there on everybody's mind is, is she, um, is she out there training to be a trade coach? So again, you mentioned it just a, a few minutes ago with three of the tread coaches, with three of the tread instructors off soon on maternity leave. Um, it does seem like it would be a reasonable assumption. Um, yeah. And I think folks would be really excited to get Hannah on the tread. So oh, for sure, I yeah. would. I mean, yeah, she's a scream. I mean, she is just a scream. <laughs> Um, I would definitely run with Hannah. No question. I think she could be so fun. Um, I, I, I could just absolutely picture her as with another John, just being fun, like not feeling like you're on there for any sort form of competition or, you know, pushing your boundaries. This is purely going to be to run on the tread and have a good time doing it. So let's cross our fingers and hope that that is in fact what she was there. But she was mic'd up in, um, you know, in some of the clips that we saw on her social media and on Kirsten Ferguson's social media. Um, so who knows? I guess we'll have to just wait and see. But it did I seem should, like uh, that was a possible. I should hit her up in my. It's yeah. been a while since I've DM'd with her. I should. I should DM her and see what. I did. I got see nothing. What info, oh. I got nothing. <laughs> I'm like Hannah, and she's like, they, you know, they all. I'm telling you, they know, they know because we're pillow yeah, buddy. They can't freaking tell us anything. It irritates me. <laughs> Spill the tea. We want to know what's going on. <laughs> Give me something. Um, well, yeah. and uh, moving on in lawsuit news, uh, Peloton and Lululemon have settled a, a lawsuit. So, in a quick turn of events, 
Um, their ongoing lawsuit has been settled now that the two companies, they reached a settlement indicating uh, that they were able to resolve the conflict out of a courtroom. Uh, this is according to Reuters. Uh, without admitting wrongdoing, Peloton has agreed to phase out certain designs that Lululemon had objected to in a lawsuit, the company said in a joint statement um, a week ago Friday just over a week ago. Uh, the parties have negotiated a mutually agreeable settlement and are pleased the matters could be resolved amicably, um, resulting in dismissal of pending litigation between them. Um, so as a reminder, there were five apparel, Peloton apparel products uh, central to Lulu's lawsuit. There were four different bra designs and one legging design. And according to Lululemon, um, they directly infringed upon their design patents. And um, as a result, the sediment appears Peloton will phase out uh, particular designs. Um, but it's also important to note, not many of these products are still even available for purchase on the Peloton Apparel website. So it's, it's unclear whether they'll be phasing out all five of them or just some of them. Um, so stay tuned. All right, and then folks, don't shoot the messenger. But tomorrow, Monday, October 10th, till the 12th, both studios will be closed for pause and reflect. <laughs> uh, there will be no live classes for those three days, but of course there is all your favorites on demand. So folks can just hit up the library and get to, you know, backtrack and do stuff that you haven't had a chance to do. Um, so we'll give you some good suggestions and picks of the week this week. Um, and hopefully you guys can utilize the, um, you know, the picks that we're, we're, we're going to be sharing um, for the next few days. But yeah, they are pausing and reflecting. Yep. And um, some new in the features department, the add to the calendar feature has returned on the Peloton web browser. So if you um, use a Safari browser, Chrome, um, whatever traditional internet browser you use to go to um, the one members.onepeloton.com website, you can click on the schedule. And when um, you click on a class that you want to add to your schedule, you'll now uh, get an option to either add it to your Google, Outlook, or iCalendar. Um, and previously, I think that feature had been there. It went away. It's now returned. Um, I saw it on, on Chrome um, for myself on my iPhone. And then also, it seems that this could, could be a slow rollout, but for a lot of um, members, there's a new feature on the Peloton app for iOS for folks that have the new operating um, iOS 16 operating system on their Apple device. There's a lock widget feature. So on the, I haven't received this pop up, but we, you know, we saw a, um, a screenshot, which I'm sure we'll we'll put up here uh, to show you. But certain members have been receiving a pop up in the app, a notification that says track your progress with lock screen widgets. Add the Peloton widget to your lock screen to celebrate your weekly streak and help you stay on track to reach your goals. So the the picture just kind of looks like you know, the days of the week. And, you know, if you've done workouts that day, you know, the little dot will be filled in and then it shows a little progress bar to the right of it. Um, so if you've, um, if you've received that update, let us know. I haven't, um, I haven't seen it for myself yet and I'm on iOS 16 right now on my iPhone. Yeah, I haven't actually, um, I haven't downloaded the new iOS, I haven't done it yet. Oh, Chris, Chris Giles, uh, Chris G says that he his, has it. Yeah, with his um, fancy new iPhone 14. I, I'm still on my 11 Pro Max. So I'm, I'm slumming oh, it with so my, so, my yeah, older I, iPhone model. That was um, birthday present number two was the new phone. So I have the 12 and I just got the 14. I'm, I'm picking it up um, this weekend. So um, I'm excited. So nice. we'll go ahead and have it on there for sure. And then for all um, for all our Android phone users um, out there, you will be pleased to know that the Just Workout feature seems to finally be rolling out to you guys um, and it is on the app. So it looks like though that they have gone ahead, while it's taking some time for everybody on Android to get it, it does look like the 
full list of workouts, not just the ride and run um, that was uh, released initially for iOS users. Um, for Android, it will be everything <clears throat> that we spoke about a couple of weeks ago. So for those that have Android, make sure you take a look at that. Nice. And the 60-day free trial for the app is back for October. Peloton's offering their extended 60-day free trial again, doubled the standard 30 days uh, for the Peloton app for limited time over the month of October. The Peloton homepage has also been updated, new banner and image uh, that links to the 60-day sign-up page. Um, it began on October 1, runs through the 31st. Um, they also published a new support page with some additional info and fine print. Um, that includes you must be a new Peloton member. At the end of the 60-day free trial, you'll be charged the $12.99 per month app fee unless you cancel it before that renewal date. Um, it's not transferable. And um, Peloton ran the same extended 60-day free trial during the New Year holiday in both 2020 and 2021. And that um, existing members, regardless of whether you're an all-access member or an app member, you can give your friends and family, just so you know, um, the same extended 60-day free trial at any time using the Peloton Guest Pass, um, which you can find right you know, in your app. Uh, but Peloton ran a special 90-day Guest Pass promotion just last month. Hmm. Interesting. All right. And for all of you that uh, sign up for the challenges, there seems to have been a glitch in the October running challenge where only run miles were being added and not wa um, and not walking. But um, it, it, if that is the case and you'd notice that your walks weren't being included, just go ahead and quit um, the challenge and rejoin um, that October run challenge to get your walking your walking miles um, to count. So, uh, yeah. And as I mentioned um, previously, uh, it's Black History Month in the UK for uh, the month of October. And Peloton will celebrate with some special content throughout the month. Um, currently, there are two classes listed on the upcoming schedule, a strength class with Jermaine Johnson, JJ, and a run with Jocelyn Thompson Rule. Um, with some additional classes likely to be added throughout the month of October. Um, but currently, right now, it's a full body, 20 minute full body strength class with JJ on the 13th, and then a 30 minute Black History Month run with Jocelyn on the 15th. Um, and Peloton also celebrated UK Black History Month with special content uh, last year and also in 2020. Um, the United States marks Black History Month in February and um, definitely expect to um, see some new special content for that month as well. This one I am super jealous about. Uh, just this past Thursday, October the 6th, um, Peloton hosted a meet and greet with instructors um, in the UK and folks got to meet Jermaine Johnson and Justin Thompson Rule. Um, this meet and greet was held at the um, Spitalfields showroom out in the UK and members did have the opportunity to sign up um, to get into the the showroom for that specific, you know, specific um, meet and greet um, and to get to chat with them. So that must have been really fun just because it's a different environment than if you're seeing them in the studio. Because I think yeah. in the studio you know, there's More casual. so many people around everybody's right you know i think this would have been and um you know i mean i just adore jocelyn and jermaine so having the opportunity to just kind of casually chat to them must have been so so fun so if anybody was out there and you listen or watch the show definitely let us know and send us some pictures um so that we can you know we can share that next week but that must have been so much fun and then have, for the have German, you ever been um, have you ever been to a meet and greet showroom I event haven't. before i i haven't i haven't have you just one i'm sure you have just one and it was way it was just a couple months after we first got our peloton in 2017 it was with dennis at the austin show oh wow so oh wow okay it, it, was i it mean fun? it was only yeah it was only a few months after dennis had launched so his hair was quite short back then like it was just barely hitting his shoulders at that point and um, and okay. yeah, and it was a very it was a very small turnout, um, and it, and I was very nervous because I was like you know I was like kind of fanboying like he you know he, back then he was my first favorite instructor that really got me hooked 
on oh, Peloton and the, and the whole company. So, and I dragged Jackie and Jackson there, but yeah, it was, it was very fun. Cause it was very sort of just intimate, you know, it's not like you're being yeah. whisked away or rushed through some sort of procession line the way you are at the, at the studio. Cause you know, they're really on top of that now, you know? So it was fun just, you know, hanging Correct. out and, you know, they had refreshments and it was a good time. Fun, fun. Well, also for the German community, they're also going to get an opportunity, John. So they are, um, the German folks will have the opportunity to meet Ms. Marcel Mar, Mar, and I know I'm pronouncing that wrong, but Marcel Mar, um, Marcel who Mauer. was yeah. in Mauer, Mauer. He was in Hamburg this past weekend. So on Saturday, he was at the Hamburg Peloton store, um, also for a meet and greet. Um, and I actually am wondering if our Chris G got to meet him or not. I'm not, can't remember if he was going to be in Germany this weekend, but um, he'll have to, um, he'll have to let us know. But um, nope, he was not going to be in Germany. So I, he missed out on that opportunity. But they, um, yeah, that must have been fun too. So I think it's good, especially for the newer instructors, kind of just getting them out there and having folks um, one on one makes it. I mean, look, that's what hooked me on the whole trade. Was I happened to have you know met them all in in London last November, and I don't think if I'd met them, I probably in that in that kind of different environment than being in the studio, I would have been quite as you know intrigued by them. So um, yeah, yeah, it was um, it was good. Well, in other news, um, Peloton was featured uh, very prominently in a recent episode of the TV show The Simpsons, and Peloton had posted a little snippet from the episode, and it's Marge Simpson riding her Peloton bike, but it's it's labeled Pedalon on the side there on the frame, and her leaderboard name is Mrs. Marge Simpson, which she later change she updates her leaderboard name but it was funny because the leaderboard the instructors there and you see people riding and you see that they're like on camera so you see video images of them on the left hand column and the instructor shouts out mrs marge simpson he says you got a shout out um we're gonna play taps because you're killing it today and then homer comes over and complains that marge is spending too much time on her uh on on the peloton and also he gives her grief because she updated her leaderboard name to Marge in charge and, you know, dropped the Simpsons um, name from the leaderboard. And then he makes a comment about, you know, you're getting taken away by this cult. And Marge, to which she replies, it's not, <laughs> it's, it's not a cult. It's just a group of people improving their lives, paying money and slavishly following a charismatic leader. <laughs> and then she takes a big sip from her water bottle and says, boy, do I love drinking this Kool-Aid. Um, so pretty funny. And then <laughs> Peloton, cute. they just, they posted that little clip and then they just captioned it. It's not a cult. So yeah. it's pretty, pretty fun. <laughs> it was fun to see people posting all over social about it after yeah, that episode. Yeah, it really was aired. fun. And, and yeah. it was fun to see nobody like, you know, had dying from a heart attack or, you know, yeah, yeah. heart palpitations. On the <laughs> she was really enjoying it. She was having fun. All right. And then a very special happy birthday wish um, to German yoga and meditation instructor, um, Nico Serrani. Um, she celebrated her birthday this last week. So happy, happy, happy birthday, birthday from all of us here at Pen Buddy. All right, John, next up, instructor in the news. All right. Well, Callie Gullickson, she was this week's interview for Shape. Um, in an interview titled Peloton Instructor, Callie Gullickson shares her ultimate hack for staying active on the road, um, talking about how she stays motivated to move while traveling. Um, and she said that, you know, she, she'll act sometimes like, I don't have time to work out while I'm on vacation, but in reality, I really do because – you can get in some sort of movement or workout, you know, in a 10 minute class um, that you can just put on the app or you can put on a meditation. So there's really, from her, from her standpoint, there's no excuse um, not to be able to get into some sort of, you know, workout routine, big or small, you know, big or little movement. And um, yeah. Nice. All right, and Kirsten Ferguson was interviewed on NBC Boston, um, where she opened up about her path to fitness and revealed how her wretched mom club came to life. So head over to Pedal Is that the name of her group? Um, 
Is, is that yeah, the name of her will, fan group? No, no, no. I don't think that's the name of her fan group, but she's okay. created this Ratchet Mom Club where, okay. you know, for all moms and she, on her Sunday mornings, she's, you know, pretty ratchet in her music choices. Um, so, yeah, that's not her fan club group, but it is her gotcha. Ratchet Moms Club that everybody talks about. Um, then I know that Jocelyn Thompson Rule talks often about how she, you know, is desperately trying to get into that wretched mom club. And I'm like, ah, Jocelyn, you're not that. <laughs> you're fine where you are. <laughs> That's my personal opinion. Um, all right. So um, I guess that, John, wraps it up. Um, we just have our inst- uh, picks of the week to work through. Right. And um, we Take it away. can... Um, We take it away. So I'll go ahead and get started. Um, All right. First up, um, my buddy Jesse Bennett had um, picked this one. Um, Jesse picked uh, Kristen McGee's 20-minute EDM Pilates. It was back from the 29th of September. It was a 9.30 a.m. class. And Jess said it was so fun, creative, and challenging in all the best ways. Arc 1072 picked Manny Majacomo's 45-minute 80s outdoor walk. Um, it was from the 30th at 11 a.m. Um, and they said great music and Maddie was hilarious with comments. And I bookmarked that one actually to do down in Florida being outside and mm. being able to do a nice long 45 minute walk. So I'm looking really forward to that one. Um, and then Sam Yo had a 30 minute rock ride from the 30th. It, it dropped at 2 p.m. Eastern. And Kapow Kate and Rockham 79s said epic atmosphere great crowd tough class and acdc thunderstruck finisher very good i always love some acdc well i have next up um there's no surprise here we had several people submit cody and camilla's 30 minute bad bunny two for one ride from october 1st i did this one live as well so uh it was super fun people in the studio um, comment was their energy is unmatched and they brought all the good vibes. Um, I love, I just, I love their dynamic. Um, you know, whether they're posting on social together or teaching the way they did in this class, they're, they're just like a perfect pairing for, for two for one, you know, the way they just, they, they bounce off each other. Uh, it was so much fun. So I hope we get more of two for ones with them. Yeah, you know, I'm not a huge Cody fan. So, ah. um, and I got to tell you, though, I love, but no, in all, in all fairness, I love that ride. I thought the energy, I think you hit it on, on point. The energy between Camilla and, um, you know, and Cody was amazing. I didn't realize how close they actually were. Um, and just, you know, he, I love Bad Bunny. So again, I said it's my, you know, my my Latin life in Miami that has gotten me very much into, um, you know, that type of music. I love it. Absolutely. I mean, that's all you'll hear playing in my apartment. I absolutely love it. So um, I, yeah, I did. I did. Um, I actually should have probably picked that as a pick, but you didn't mention who picked it. So you want to run through oh, the yeah. names? Oh yeah, my bad. Um, yes. Yeah, so Curvy, Ginger Mom, uh, Evie Love, Allinger, Debbie, Gab, 1223, Caramel Corn, Kate, and Mrs. Burl's Collide in here. Mrs. Mrs. Burr's Cold in here. Sorry. Um, That's it. All submitted that. (laughs) I think they're they're great, and I think they've really, um, you know, formed a pretty close friendship because they're neighbors in Brooklyn, and they probably just live in the same neighborhood, but they also go running together at the same park there in Brooklyn. So it seems like, you know, they have a real good time together outside of work. So... Um, I love the stuff that they they post together, especially on social media. Um, next really up, nice. Kendall's 30-Minute Country Pop Ride. That's from October 2nd, Sunday, submitted by Fetch It Gretch, Lauren Pawe, Daisy Mack, and D. Holbs. D. Holbs, I think I see that correctly. They said yep, so. I think you did. Yep, that's good. So fun, great energy, great playlist. And then we have Toon Days, 45-Minute Bike Boot Camp Full Body, also from the second, submitted by Emmy Christensen. She said, in her words, this should feel violent. Great workout <laughs> and great music. <laughs> That's too funny. 
All right, and the next one was my pick, and um, me and Sally2832. It was the 30-minute unity ride in German um, with Mila, Eric, Benny, Cliff, and Charlotta, um, and it was fantastic. I, I love the energy between the instructors. I think that they did a fantastic job in um, collaborating and how they kind of had their spots together and then the one moved off the bike and the next one came on the bike. Love that it had English subtitles. So thank you, thank you, thank you Peloton for doing that. Um, yep, in turn make sure you tell Peloton that we're very appreciative that they put that in there. <laughs> we really were. <laughs> um, and um, it was again from the third. Um, and then the next pick again were my two picks for this week and that was the 30 minute Judy, um, unity run. Um, that came right after. It was on, on the 3rd at 3. It was 3 a.m. Um, no, it must have been 3 p.m. I think that was a mistake. You know what they dropped? I know what happened. They dropped them on They dropped them on call, and then the German instructors all got on um, in, the, in the day. So I think it was, it oh. was at like 1 o'clock and 12. So we actually did it kind of live, but it was an on-call. Um, so that was what it was. And the, and the instructors were all in that. So the high-fiving were just running absolutely rampant. We got high-fives from Eric and Benny and Jeffrey and uh, Tobias and um, Mila and Myla. And it was just so great seeing all the instructors on there. But me and Bertha C. Runs MD loved having her on there. Uh, Bertha said, Marcel, Jeffrey and Tobias radiate pure joy like kids in a candy store you can't not smile the entire time plus they told a bit about each of their family's background stories and bonus it's subtitled in english so i actually ended up walking it because i wanted to be able to read what they were saying and there was mm. no way i was running and reading and you know enjoying at the same time so i walked most of it um kind of just rode when i did but yes it was a wonderful way of them sharing um, a little bit about their pasts, um, you know, where they came from. Um, I didn't know that Tobias was married and had two kids and um, was in his 40s. So it was something new. Yeah. And and it was a great way for Peloton to, you know, really expose us that I had never worked out with Tobias before. He is fantastic, absolutely fantastic, and definitely somebody that I would jump on the tread with again. So um, those were great picks um, from that perspective. Well, our next pick comes from Amar Jar 3. It's Hannah Corbin's 30-minute bar class from the third. She said, had a great playlist and good energy. And then next is Dennis's 30-minute rock ride, also from the third. That one is brought to you by E. Burton Brown. They said, insane playlist, 90s, 2000s rock. And then switching over to the tread... Marcel Dinkins, 30-minute hip-hop run from the third, submitted by Mandy Rose. They said, killer energy, solid workout, and fun music. Nice. And then Nelly, Nelly, Nelly P um, picked Adrian Williams' 30-minute Our Future Selves. This one was with Adam Grant and Ashton Kutcher. And mm. they said, I cannot explain how much all the coaches have done for me as far as I train for the CIM. So it's amazing that this program really is um, being well received by members um, in the community who are really enjoying having different folks on the tread um, and getting to work out with different people. So that's I also, awesome. I and thought then, it was also really mm -hmm. fun. I don't know if you saw the clip of Adrian showing Loved Ashton it. how to cut the sleeves <laughs> cut off his of his shirt. And then Ashton just immediately threw the shirt on after that. <laughs> it was hysterical. I mean, and as, and as Adrian said, there's an art to this. You know, buddy, there is an art to how we he, do this. It was very he, cute. He gave, no, he gave Ashton nowhere near the amount of side titty, though, that, that Adrian is known for sporting. <laughs> like, he was very generous in giving extra leaving extra shirt on the sides you know he, he was he didn't go crazy with it <laughs> too funny too funny well um all right so hey it's eric m recommended rad's um 20 minute arms and shoulder strength it dropped on the 4th of october 10 30 a.m and they said great class and a great stack with his five minute core class that was just after this 
So there were kind of two shout outs there. Um, and then Marcel Maurer had a 30 minute Disney run. It was in German and it was um, recommended by KD98 Rides, a Disney ride in German. I think Benny has a Disney ride as well. A Disney, uh, oh, excuse me, this is a run. I'm so sorry. Marcel's is a run. My apologies. 30 minute Disney run, of course. But I think Benny has a Disney ride, correct? In Germany. Yeah, in German. We've done yep. that one. Yeah, yeah, and he played, yeah, played yeah, German. Yeah, yeah, we've done that one. It was awesome. He played some versions of Disney songs of that German. Were in that's German. what I remember. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so I don't know if Marcel had any German uh, songs, but that was cool to see. Next up, we have a twenty-minute classic rock walk from Susie Chan from October fourth. That was um, a group submission from Susie's fan group, Susie Striders, um, specifically from one of their members named Millie. They said the Rock Walk had the best playlist. And then next up is Kira Michelle's 30-minute evening slow flow from October 4th. We received this one from Queen of Donuts 98, Wolfpack 203, and Kira's Koalas group. Uh, They said amazing restorative style class. And then uh, rounding it out, the picks of the week, Camilla's 30-minute premiere run from Wednesday night the 5th. We got this from Plant Powered Mom, uh, Jack, Jack Kilcadge, Jack. That's a hard one. Jack Kilcadge, Mrs. Shatsky, and A Fit Cookie. They said the class was incredible, energy was amazing. And then I have one pick I want to uh, mention. I didn't give this one to Chris Lewis as one of. I didn't have any picks of the week, but uh, from Wednesday. October 5th, Alex Toussaint taught two 20-minute back-to-back classes in the afternoon. Um, His 20-minute 80s ride was so much fun. If you have not taken it, check it out. Because Alex, 80s music is so not his wheelhouse. You know, he's into the hip-hop, the club bangers. And it's just just some of the things he said. I saw your reel in it. Yeah, he was rocking out. I put some clips in. I put some clips because he was rocking out to rock sets, listen to your heart. And, you know, one point he's saying how soulful it is. And then he looks over at the laptop to his left and he says, who's this lady? And he goes, oh, Roxette, I love this song. (laughs) So super fun 20-minute class, not like a crazy hard class the way his 20-minute climb was after that one. But uh, check that one out. I I just, I love Alex. Uh, So I really hope he does come to the tread because I would love to get more of him on in that other modality. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. All right, good. Well, we're there, folks. We gave you a pretty nice group of picks for this week. So for those of you that don't know what to do over the next few days with the Pause and Reflect, you have some some great advice from tons of people out there that are recommending different um, different things to do. So make sure that you catch some of those. Well, I guess, John, that does wrap up a lot of news for the week. So um, I think it is time for us to bid you farewell. Um, thank you, folks, again, as always, for watching and listening. And, um, yeah, we hope to see you back here same time next week. And um, don't forget to leave those reviews. We'd like to hear them. But from yes. me here, bye for now, everybody. And from me here in Michigan, always appreciate you tuning in. And as always, we will see you on the leaderboard. Thank you for watching Pillow Buddy TV, your source for everything Peloton. By the community, for the community. Work out with us using the Pillow Buddy TV leaderboard tag and find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Pillow Buddy. Don't forget that we have a podcast available so that you can listen to us while on the move. Just search for Pillow Buddy TV on any major platform and hit the subscribe button so you never miss an episode.